So, shall we begin? There are some tasks that I'm unequipped to handle myself, and I need your assistance. Excellent. As you've hopefully been made aware by now, the source of the weather phenomenon outside is a device that is under our control. Or rather, the lack thereof. Control, that is. In order to solve this error, we'll need to acquire the weather machine's blueprints. They are in the wall safe just over there. If only it were that simple. The safe can only be opened with a key. A key that my beloved wife Cassie has chosen to hide in a very secure location. So secure that only she knows where it is. This is problematic as she has been unwell and unresponsive for quite some time. That said, she is, was, a diligent notekeeper. I'm certain you could find out where she moved the key to if you were to search through her notes. You should find them all in our room upstairs. It is unlocked, so you should be able to just walk in. With my condition as it is, I'm unable to do this myself. And thus, my new friend, the task falls to you. I dare say I barely understand it myself. Prior to certain circumstances, I was blind. Born that way. Since sad circumstances, I've come to be able to see, but not in the traditional sense. Alas, written text, paper and terminal alike remain my mortal foe. Discussing the boring details any further are for another time, though. Please, let's return to the matter at hand. You will? Oh, the wunderbar. Best of luck. I miss research, science, discoveries. Screw it. I miss how it was before. Probably start planning out his funeral. The new animals up there. Are any of them good for eating? It's safer down in the lower levels again, now that the infestation is taken care of. You should have arrived a few years back. The old vault sure was something. You know, before the accidents. What if we go back to the surface and... Nobody wants to know us because of our, you know, condition.
back to the surface. And nobody wants to know us. Don't just about it. Uh, one from outside. It's refreshing. What the hell are you doing in here? Get your filthy hands off her! Very well. But I'm sure you wouldn't appreciate a stranger manhandling your spouse. This arrangement is in her best interest. I apologize. Truly. I'm just very protective of her, you know? She was... is my other half, and life is just not complete without her. Of course she has the key herself. I should have known. Nothing. She's perfect. Always has been. Always will. The same incident that has put me into my condition. Well, it made her quiet. Tired. She'll be right in no time. All the more reason for you to get a move on with those weather machine blueprints. No? I don't think it's anyone's business to see my wife whenever they wish. I'm sure you wouldn't like that either if you were in her position. Just exposed for anyone to see like some animal in a zoo? No, not my Cassie. She deserves peace and quiet to recover. Is that what I've said? I... Suppose I reveal too much with too little context. Forgive me. Now isn't the time to discuss such things, not before you have a better grasp of what we are contending against here. Apologies for the confusion. I often forget just how unusual my situation has become. I was born blind, and lived that way even after becoming a ghoul, as you put it. However, as I've mentioned, an accident at this facility altered me. Not unlike the lost that wander the surface. I see the world in pulses, wavelengths, a universe of violent synaptic connections, carving out and outlining every object and person. Navigation is trivial for me now. I was able to spot you in these sacred grounds even from my office. To the lost. I imagine this vision is a curse, a terrifying cataractous cloud that distorts their world. To me, it is a new life. Needless to say, I don't find myself bumping into things while getting around the vault anymore. Yes, very well. If you would excuse me, I would like a moment. Come find me when you have the blueprints.
I still can't believe Hilda just left like that without an escort. She could have got herself killed. You reckon that storm is gonna get worse? Better. Don't you be starting to change things up around here. We got a system, and it works, damn it. are starting to dwindle a little. Give me the stock. I felt the whole vault shaking a while back. Security said it was nothing to worry about. I could, about, I believe you have something for me. It is a step, yes. You'll be provided more information shortly. Do be patient. Remember, this is all new to you. But years in the making for us. Did I ask you to snoop around in our personal affairs? That was and is none of your business. Forget the petty gossip and focus on the task at hand. Am I making myself clear to you? Now, the blueprints. Have you found them? Well, they're no good to me. I can't read them. Go deliver them to my daughter, Arden. She's the one who's leading the effort to repair the weather machine. Oh, and before I forget, um, our conversation in Cassie's room. Water under the bridge, yes? I do hope we can keep that just between us. I'd hate for rumors to flutter about. I'm happy to hear it. Oh, and before you go off to Audrey, I would like you to indulge me in another thought exercise I've been meditating on. If you were to repair a ship by replacing it plank by plank, piece by piece, so much so that no single piece of wood from the original vessel remained, would you have a new ship? Or would it still be the original, only improved? Spoken with confidence. Ah, screw it. Personifying the boat like before. a true sailor. For this exercise, I propose we conclude the opposite. Just humor me a moment. Let's say for this example that we can agree that eventually it is a new ship. Because I think the more interesting question is, at what point does it become so After half of the planks? After the final part is replaced? Perhaps the rudder? Or mast? If we were to change piece by piece, at what point do we become something entirely new? Up. One moment. Let's perhaps hold on an answer. I'd rather that linger with you. And you have important business to attend to. Now, off with you to see Arden. She's buried in her books in the meteorology sector. I hope you have some good hiking boots. It's quite the track. Safe travels. There was a landslide around the mansion? I wonder how that happened.
things it bores. You there! I don't know you. Why are you in my lab? Who told you? Never mind. Yes, I am indeed Andre Stoltz. And you are a sore thumb sticking out in my lab. Great. Introductions are out of the way. You know, there's enough chaos around here as it is. With the machine being broken, the clutter everywhere, and the electrified lunatics roaming about. So, unless there's something you're here for, would you kindly get the hell out of my lab? What's this? Oh, the blueprints! Fantastic! Did my father send you? Are we hiring outside help for the mailroom now? Never mind that, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that I finally have these. Well, the name says it all. It used to be a machine that did the weather. You know, monitoring it, controlling it, just the usual stuff. I think we picked it up as a way to sweeten the pot when my father was getting the board to approve this vault. A bit of nepotism later, and here I am. My father refused to listen when I told him my talents are wasted on this machine, but... In the end, the research fell off after the bombs fell. Later, we found a very important reason to look into it again, of course. Which... I'm not really comfortable sharing more on. Sorry, we did just meet, after all. To summarize, this machine is important. My father wants it fixed, and I'd very much like father to stop pestering me about it. You know, I think we picked it up in the end, which, to summarize... Yes, yes, very excellent parcel delivery. Off with you, then. Actually, wait a moment. A helpful minion could be quite useful. Could you give me two seconds to read this? Here's a little reward for you. Count your bottle caps while I go over these blueprints. Come back when you're ready for more work. Perfect. Perfect. The blueprints specify the exact part we're looking for. Well, I could use someone with outdoor experience for starters. Based on your skin condition, I'm guessing you're not from around here. That means you walked here. You're perfect for the job. Believe it or not, the Shenandoah Visitor Center has a device for monitoring the weather. While vastly inferior in complexity, it contains parts that you won't find out of any old toaster left to rot. It won't be a perfect fit, but even if the part is remotely close to the one that broke, I should be able to do some modifications to make it work. I'll analyze these blueprints more and do some research ahead of time, just in case. That just leaves you with the task of actually fetching it. If you don't mind, that is. That kind of thing is not uncommon for a national park this size. They had lots of tourists coming and going. Inclement weather would mean closing down some trails, or the park altogether. Anyway, that's the past. Doubt the park rangers have much use for it now, right? So, will you grab it for me? Uh, maybe. There's a lot more to it than just that. You're years behind us on this, so let's just ease you into it for now. To set your mind at ease, we're working toward not just fixing the weather, but possibly even the loss themselves. You'll see. Just bear with us for a bit. We could really use your help on this. Thank you. The visitor center is just north of the manor, on the cliff. It's probably completely abandoned. The building isn't too big, so you should be able to find it easy enough. Once you have the part, come back here, okay?
are you? Don't, don't, don't hurt me, please. Whoa! Oh, oh, who are you? Don't, don't, don't hurt me, please. Oh, really? Oh, whew, whew, okay. Well, that, that's a relief. Well, it's not here. It's back in my bunker. There's a, uh, a bit of a problem, though. The door to my bunker got jammed from the inside, and I got locked out. I just went out to get some essentials. I rarely leave the bunker. Of course, I had to lock myself out when I do. Anyway, good news is, there's a second entrance in the basement of this building. <laughs> Bad news is, there's a bunch of weirdos in there now. I don't know who they are, or what they want. I've never seen them before. But they did not seem the friendly kind, huh? I just came in here minding my own business. When I heard some creepy chanting and, and talks about some Alex saying they're here for a, a sacrifice, I panicked and I locked them in. I don't think they noticed, but I bet they'll be real mad once they do. You've got yourself a deal. Come and let me know when they're all, uh, you know, dead. I, uh, uh, stopped hearing screams, so I came through, you know, to, to check on you, yeah? I wasn't sneaking off. A deal's a deal. Follow me. I'll show you to my bunker. Uh, the machine is in there.
machine you're after is just over there. I mean, it's pretty hard to miss. <laughs> uh, thanks for uh, helping me out getting back here. Did you find the part we're looking for? What a relief. I must admit, I was a little unsure there would be any machine left to rescue parts from. I hope I didn't get you into too much danger to retrieve it. I knew you would be a good fit for the task. But that aside, I never heard of any cult in these parts. And again, I never heard much about any cult in general. My father kept me fairly sheltered. Quite literally. I wonder what they were doing there. Alex? No, she couldn't be. Sorry, I knew someone named Alex. I never found out what happened to them when the bombs dropped, but it must be someone else. Would you mind getting the part in place? It should be pretty simple after my modifications. All the connectors are standardized now to fit a regular part. I do it myself, but I... I just need a minute to gather my thoughts. I mean equipment. I'll be right there. <laughs> 